Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant. My website is doglikehorse.com. I'm here to talk to you about how to open router ports. Things you'll need for this are a computer, a router with access to that router, and you'll need to know which ports you need to forward. The first thing you'll need to do is to log into your router. Typically, you can find your router's uh, HTTP login page or web login page at 192.168.1.1. Our router today is at 10.0.0.2. It'll ask me for a username and password, which I'll enter, and it'll give me access to the configuration of that router. The next step is to find the port configuration page of your router, or your DMZ page, which is Demilitarized Zone. This is the area of which, when data comes in, and it doesn't know which port to pass it to, the router will pass it to this DMZ. Now, what you're doing with port forwarding is you're asking the router to forward ports, the data that comes in on a specific port, to a port on your computer. So what we have to do is tell the router which ports to listen for and which computer to pass that data to. What you'll now need to do is enter the IP address of the computer you want these ports to be forwarded to. Once you've entered the IP address, you'll need to choose the protocol for which to forward. Things like email or file application sharing programs will have UDP and TCP ports. You'll need to enter both of those one at a time in this page. Once you've completed entering all of the ports that you wish to forward, you need to save the changes and then write them to the flash of the device. The router won't save the changes unless you write it to memory. If you fail to write it to memory, the next time the router loses power and comes back on, it'll lose those settings. My name is Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video on how to open ports on your router.